Hello, my name is Ilona and today is Tuesday, January 17th, 2023. And of course, there is so much going on. More files have been released on Twitter and it's just a very interesting time right now, to be very honest. And I wanted to take a look at Iran. There is so much going on in Iran, at least what's coming out. It's very confusing. But there are still protests going on. Uh, apparently more than 500 people that were standing up, including 69 children, left the earth plane. According to the human rights activist and news agency, apparently two people that were used in some kind of trial also left the earth plane and 26 others face the same fate. And apparently the, the last two uh, said that they were... Uh, uh, physically harmed to confess to certain things. Of course, this is from human rights activists, uh, activist news agency and from Amnesty International. And we all know that a lot of these organizations ultimately at the top were involved with other things as well. So we're not really sure what's truly going on, but I do know that it is at the moment very tense there. Uh, it has to do with food prices, it has to do with the um, headscarf that women have to wear, it has to do with the... Uh, there are so many things going on there. So I just want to take a look at the energy of Iran right now. We have the Sun. Well, that's an interesting card. We have the Ten of Pentacles. In the central position we have the two of wands in the past we have the chariot underneath the central card we have the seven of wands in the future position and the death card so this indicating that especially with the sun the chariot and the death card these are three major arcana cards a lot of things are happening and very important but people are moving away from a certain uh, status that was present there. I think this is going on between dark energies and the light energies. I think that um, the dark energies are still, still trying to maintain a certain control there and it's falling apart. They're moving away from it. The charity means that the people are taking back their power. So I think that it's, I'm not sure, maybe people know people living there, what the situation is, but I have a feeling that the things that are coming out are um, emphasized in a way and are not as bad as it really is, especially with the sun. It's, it's almost like a feeling like things are coming out that are not completely aligned, just like what with China, all these things, all these clips are suddenly coming out and then you see completely different clips with people just enjoying a certain game or just, you know, the things that they're showing us is not always true of what is really going on. I have a feeling here as well with the sun that it's not as bad as things are claimed to be. That doesn't mean that nothing's going on there because people are gaining back, taking back their uh, how do you say this, control of their lives. It's moving away from this old status where these dark energies still try to maintain, still try to hold on to. The uh, To me, the white hats were helping along this process. I do believe that they're trying to get rid of all these dark puppets there. They are in a way better position. I believe that the people that are standing up for themselves are in a way better position than the dark energies. But they, they're, of course, there are things still going on. So they have to stand up for themselves. And they do. And they are in a better position. So ultimately, this will fall apart for the dark energies, especially with the death card. This is the end of all things that don't work anymore. So it could still first become more chaotic, but that's necessary again, like what's happening around the world before it will get better. So this to me feels like it, it's, it's for some strange reason, I have a feeling that not everything that comes out is actually true. Some things are really uh, exaggerated and that this really is the end of uh, an, an era, a, a time, a certain system. I believe it's completely falling apart. The 
white hats, the people that are standing up for themselves, they are in a way better position than the dark energies. They are really falling apart, but they're still fighting going on. And it's good that people are standing up for themselves. This is the time to leave this period behind, this old system, this old uh, dark energy. It's time that people move past that and leave that behind. So it can still get more chaotic in Iran, but it's necessary for everything to fall apart. But the people are in a better position uh, than is probably shown. Uh, you know, we see or hear a lot of things about the the government pushing back, you know, taking uh, people in, doing all kinds of things. I'm kind of, I'm not even certain if that is all accurate, but that is my feeling. I don't, I'm not living in Iran. I, I hope some people will react and tell me what the real true story, of course, what's going on. But I do believe that some things are ex exaggerated, that things that are coming out are not completely what's truly going on. But the people are taking back control and they are in a way better position. They are, and they're, they're gonna win this. This is the end of this old system. It's going to fall. So this is the energy I got for Iran. I also wanted to take a look at something I thought was very interesting in America. I've seen uh, some articles about the House Republicans to vote on bill. And this is about abolishing IRS, eliminating income tax. And I thought that was very interesting because that is very uh, similar to the quantum financial system. I also saw that the House passes bill nixing uh, $72 billion dollars in funding for 87,000 new uh, IRS agents. So that's falling through. I just thought that was interesting. I haven't seen, this is a, an article from uh, January 10th from Fox News about to vote on that bill to abolish IRS. And the IRS is the Internal Revenue Service and it's actually the federal taxes, so to speak. So apparently there are taxes on the national level in America and states statewide, and there is the federal level. And apparently they want to get rid of this. I haven't seen if they've already voted on that, but this is very interesting. They want to eliminate the national income tax and replace it with national consumption tax. And that's very similar about the things I've heard about the quantum, quantum financial systems. This is just very interesting. They want to reintroduce Fair Tax Act that aims to reel in the IRS and remove the national income tax as well as other taxes and replace them with a single consumption tax. So I just want to take a look at the energy that's surrounding this. Does this have to do with the new financial system that will ultimately come in? I believe it will come in when all the dark puppets are removed. So. They're not going to uh, start that without removing all these puppets that are still uh, kind of running around. So I just want to take a look at that, the energy around what's going on there. Let's see. We have the Eight of Swords, that's interesting. We have the Knight of Cups as the central card. We have the Four of Cups in the past. We have the Ace of Cups. Well, this is a yes. So this is part of that new system that they want to bring in. This is the Three of Pentacles for the future, the near future, and the World card. Oh, this is beautiful. This is all part of the new system they want to take in. So they're already starting to change things. Obviously, the entire system will have to, you know, the, the old system will have to go before the new system will be introduced. But this is already a start changing things and also to prepare people that things are going to change. So this is part of giving them a cup, giving them something new, especially because so many people feel powerless by everything that's been going on with taxes and uh, things they have to, you know, do. And it's, it's if you really think about it, it's just theft. <clears throat> Sorry, basically taxes really are theft. They're not even based on anything. So it, worldwide, it's not based on anything. So really you are voluntarily paying, but there are, of course, if you don't, consequences. And it's time that they're stepping away from this. So this is really about, you know, 
taking care of this powerless feeling a lot of people have, not just in America, but of course we're now talking about America because this is a very interesting uh, uh, development. So this is a change and this has to do with, yes, this has to do with the new financial system. This is preparing people for a new system that will come. So it won't be a complete shock. It's you have to drop certain crumbs so people will start to understand and it will sink in. It's, it's the same programming what the dark energies have been using is putting all these crumbs and then later on they'll, they'll pull out the, the true agenda, but then people are kind of already prepared. So in their mind, they are already, you know, more open for it. So that's very, just like they've been doing for years, you know, trying to program people to accept certain truths. There's a lot of work going on. This is really, uh, to me, this feels like the white hats working together with also off-worlders. This is a system that is not comparable to the system we have now. I believe it has to do with consciousness. It has to do with, uh, of course, you're the only one that can access your account, ultimately, if the new system will be present. There have been, of course, um, you know, uh, doubts about this new system. I personally believe that the, the best way to see if this system is light or dark, if you really want to think in that terms, if it feels right to you or not, that probably fits better, but is if cash is still allowed. I think that's a very clear indicator. To me, this feels like a white hat operations, the new system. There has been, of course, another reset that the dark energies try to push through. That's not going to happen. That has to do with, of course, the digital uh, currency. That's and uh, that's all linked. You know that they all want to have everything linked: your passport, your your pass for certain things. They all want it linked to, of course, your uh, uh, how to say digital currency. So I think that is a very clear indicator. So if an inter how to say a new system will be introduced and there is no cash money, that should be a warning, so to speak, because I do believe that it's necessary cash for a while because a lot of people around the world that do not have any access to internet, they do not have the access to uh, open up uh, how do you say this, uh, an account or something like that. So cash money will be important. I do believe in the, um, how to say, the financial system that is connected to the Whiteheads, there will be currency. Wouldn't surprise me if every country will go back to their own currency. Just, you know, the Netherlands uh, back to the Florijn Gulden. Uh, the, uh, you know, uh, uh, just around the world, they will have their own currencies. I think that will be very important. And that will be part of the new system. So if a new system is brought in and it's only digital, run away. But then again, I don't think that's going to happen. I have full faith that and trust that this is going to work out. And as we see with the Three of Pentacles and the world, this is a completely new way. So they're working on it. They really are working hard to get the system. I do believe it's already functioning and it's more like bringing this out so that people will understand what's going on, especially with what's going on now in uh, America and with these taxes and things they're doing now. It's preparing people and the world card is the world coming together. It will be a completely new system. It will be a completely new way of dealing with money. Ultimately, it's energy, but Let's just say that certain people will not be able to uh, get all the money and uh, you know there's, there won't be any poverty anymore. It will be a completely different way. We won't be in this fight and flight uh, energy, in this survival mode, especially with poverty. That's a perfect way of keeping people on a very low energy. That is going to change completely. That's part of this new beautiful world where you can focus on your own growth, on your spiritual growth, emotional growth, growth in every way because you don't have to worry about money anymore. You know, those things will be taken care of and you'll be able to do whatever you feel like doing. And I think that's very important to understand. There is abundance for everyone. If people would fully understand that like 2% of, uh, well, humanity, I'm not even sure if we can call them humanity, but let's just say this 2%er group has, I think like 90 or 95% of wealth. 
if they would really share, you know, hypothetically thinking they would share with everyone around the world, everyone would have more than enough money. So this entire feeling of lack of, of uh, you know, there isn't enough, there's not enough uh, money, there's not enough food. This is all has to do with the dark energies and keeping us powerless, keeping us in control. So they are the ones with all the wealth, with all the food, with all the possibilities. So we would be stuck in a very low frequency, perfect for them to harvest our energy and of course to manipulate it and use it for their own agenda. So we are really truly moving away from that. So I'd like to leave it at this and hope to see you in another video. Bye.